Greetings YouTube, my name is Sporknator, welcome back to Ocarina of Time. In the last episode we arrived at Gerudo's Fortress and we have already freed, uh, freed three out of four trapped uh, carpenter people. And I think I do know a clever way to get out of where I am now. I think I can reach that chest. Which has a piece of heart inside of it. But I'll just not open it. And I think I know where the last guy is. So yeah, I want to be careful and make sure that, because uh, I think I have to jump down from here, maybe. I want to make sure I do it right. So there's the vines. We climb down. Okay, I think we're supposed to jump down here. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, there it is. That's the door I'm looking for. I think this is it. But I think there's guards. So let's ready our bow and shoot him down. Is that the only one? I'm so afraid. Um. Oh good. There's never any guards in these rooms, ironically. Hey, you young man over there looking here inside the cell, blah, blah, blah. This is the last guy. Oh, I'm so happy. This is one of my least favorite parts of the game, is trying to free these guys and avoid the guards. But yeah. Are you some kind of wizard? You made it past all the guards. <laughs> all my fellow carpenters are still in prison? No, they're not. I got three of uh, I got three of them out. Where have you been? Oh yeah, you've been here. So, the final Gerudo guard fight is upon us. Ow! I will kill you. You're standing between me and progress, lady. Ha! Come on. Ow. I like how I back up at the wrong timing and end up getting hit. Uh, brilliant. Just brilliant. Simply brilliant. Pow! And she's down. Oh, I wanted to... Whatever. I was trying to force it and get her to be on the screen while I was getting this, but... Oh well, we finished it and that's all that matters. I was afraid you were going to forget about me. Now I'm free. Thanks. I'm Shiro the Carpenter. For rescuing me, I'll tell you something interesting about the desert that I overheard the Gerudos talking about. They said, in order to cross the haunted wasteland, you'll need the Eye of Truth. The Colossus is on the far side of the wasteland. Okay, now I'm going back to my tent near Gerudo Valley, so drop by sometime. You may find something helpful there. Bye. I've seen your fine work. To get past the guards here, you must have good thieving skills. I used to think that all men, besides the great Gan Ganondorf, were useless. But now that I've seen you, I don't think so anymore. The exalted Naburu, our leader, put me in charge of this fortress. Naburu is the second in command to the great Ganondorf, king of the Gerudo thieves. Her headquarters are in the spirit temple, which is at the end of the desert. Say, you must want to become one of us, eh? All right then, you're in from now on. Take this. With it, you will have free access to all areas of the fortress. I got a membership card. Gerudo's membership card. You can get into the Gerudo's training ground in their hideout. But it's too bad that you can't do anything there yet. Now before we move on, I want to point out, see how she's uh, wearing green? She's got green on. If you change your clothes and wear, for example, red, she'll wear whatever you're wearing. See, now she's wearing red. And now we're going to change to blue. And she's wearing blue. You know, I'm starting to wonder if the same thing works for the cheat code tunics. So I'm gonna give that a try now. Let's uh, yeah, try black. 
Wow, she's actually wearing black. I'm impressed. And how about white? Let's show off the white one. Now she's wearing white. Can I get you to turn around, honey? Thank you. Oh, that's terrific. And I believe there's also a yellow one in the cheat codes here. There we go. She's wearing yellow now. Isn't that awesome? Anyway, I'm going to deactivate the cheat code and put my normal tunic back on. So yeah, that's interesting. I just wanted to show you guys that before I moved on because it's like a one-time thing. I think if you come back here, she won't be here anymore. So that was my only chance to do it, and I did it. So now I'm just going to find a way out of here. Just, uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry about this, by the way. Don't hate me. So they're all friendly now. No need to hide from them anymore. Because now you talk to them and they all say the same thing. They give you that hint again. About the spirit temple being out there in the desert, etc, etc. So yeah. This lady will open the training round, but we don't have everything we need to complete it yet. So maybe we'll do that later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where does this lead to? The archery course? Hey, newcomer. Yeah, I don't. Th I think I don't need to go this way. I need to go the other way. Yeah, because there... Yeah, that way is the actual gate. What do you want, Navi? The desert! That is where Ganondorf the Evil King was born. If we go there, we might find something. You don't say! Anyway... Let's be on our way to the, uh, desert, whatever we're doing. I'm down by a full heart. Can I fix that? Well, I do have fairies, so who cares? Yeah, I have- I still have those fairies. I didn't- I didn't get- die at all against the Shadow Temple boss like I thought I might. I got hit, though. Mm, it was painful. Oh, I hate this camera angle. Oh, well. Hey, rookie. Are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you, but... You can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trials. Challenge accepted. The first trial is the River of Sand. You can't walk across this river. After you cross it, follow the flags we placed there. The second trial is the Phantom Guide. Those without eyes that can see the truth will only find themselves returning here. You're going anyway, aren't you? I won't stop you. Go ahead. I dare you. Yes, like I said. Challenge accepted. Slow opening gate is slow. Let's get down from here. Yeah, there. Yeah, that works. Does the sign have anything helpful? If you chase a mirage, the desert will swallow you. Only one path is true. Ominous. And if it's not already daytime, make it daytime. It's easier to see during the day than it is at night all this darn dust blowing. But yeah. There's two ways to cross this. You can put on the hover boots and walk straight across, or you can use your hookshot. Which you'll have to do if you decide to do the spirit temple before the shadow temple. You can actually do that if you want. Just a fun fact. So yeah. We want to follow these posts, otherwise we'll probably like lose a full heart and get teleported back to the start of the area. Which could end up killing me and well, not really, because I have fairies, but... Yeah. On we go through the desert. Only one path is true. You seriously cannot deviate from the path. You have no freedom here. Whatsoever. Well, barely any. Not really freedom at all. Okay, let's go to this flag. And then onto these wooden posts. And I suppose I will go down to this area, even though I don't have to. I can roll, right? Oh, yes, very good. Might as well get the Skulltula while I'm here. I really don't need any more of them. I'm not really planning on getting all of them. Oh, I got a heart. That was worth it. I guess for fun, we'll light the two torches with Din's fire. Did that do anything? Oh yeah, it made this chest appear. <laughs> Silly me. Ah, oh, 50 rupees. 
50 rupees I don't need. Man. I wish they'd let us hold, like, thousands and thousands of rupees that I could keep collecting them forever and set a new high score or something. I don't know. Let's re-equip our arrows for no real reason. Just because I don't want to accidentally use Din's fire. And we're gonna need the Lens of Truth. So let's equip that. Actually, I'm not in the Shadow Temple anymore, so I think I'll go back to my old item assignment method. I'll be your guide on your way, but coming back, I won't play. I'll show you the only way to go. So follow me and don't be slow. Okay. Just gonna follow really carefully so I don't have to ever retry this at all. Okay. Turning. Turning. Ominous turning. It's nearly impossible to get through, get through here without the guide. Possible, I guess, but no. Too hard. Are we going back? Whatever, I won't question it. Okay, but seriously, once we see these posts, we can ignore the guide and just continue on. Otherwise, the, the, the guide will just keep on moving and go back and then come here again. Just waste too much time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the... What is this? Ah, yes. Welcome to the Desert Colossus. That is where we are. And these levers are annoying. Can I identify them? I don't know if I want to risk getting hurt. Although it doesn't matter. I can do this, yeah. Lever. Watch its movements closely and let it go by. Interesting. These enemies are freaking annoying. But if we come over here, it's actually a bombable wall with a great fairy behind it. So, I guess we can do that. Oh, I didn't get the heart, but I probably don't need it. I think the fairy heals me. <laughs> the beeping has started. So let's call the great fairy. Oh good, we're only like 12 and a half minutes in. That's perfect. Because I think by the time I do everything I need to do, it should be like 15 or 20 minutes maybe. Anyway, yet another great fairy. I'm starting to hate her less and less. I guess I'm just kind of getting used to it. Welcome, Spork. I am the great fairy of magic. Another great fairy of magic? I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. Oh, we're getting the third and final spell in the game. Ah! It's a blue one! Wow, I've never seen that before. Remember the fairy ocarina? It was like orangish colored, and then we got a blue one. The ocarina of time. So that's funny. <gasps> a blue one! You got neighbor's love. Cast has created a powerful protective barrier. It's defensive magic you, you can use with blue zavazoo with that. Nehru's love is in effect for only a limited time, so use it carefully. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. So basically, Nehru's love makes you invincible for a short period of time, and then therefore might be considered three, uh, cheating in a three-heart challenge. I do have a really good use for it later in the game, though, and I do not consider it cheating, as I'll be using it to save time rather than actually avoid taking damage. Ow. But anyway, let's head inside the Desert Colossus before we die from the darn levers. It is now time to start the uh, Spirit Temple. Yeah. Ow. You know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm just gonna keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There's these pots that attack you. So, yeah. Magic refill, handy. What's this say? If you want to travel to the future, you should return here with the power of silver from the past. Don't know what it's talking about, I have no idea. I do, but yeah. Let's see what this says. If you want to proceed to the past, you should return here with the pure heart of a child. Huh. Whatever. Get a rupee? Well, yeah, we've still got about five minutes. I guess we can uh, start the uh, spirit temple here.
I'm just kidding, of course. We can't do anything yet. Let's push this block. Oh, wait. We can't. Okay, what's at the other end of the room? <gasps> a crawl space! Perfect, perfect. Okay, this will let us progress, right? Nope. Nope. You can't get in there because you're too fat. We're trapped, folks. We cannot progress. Um, no, I supposed to head back outside? I, I guess. I guess we head back outside. Yeah. What's going on? <gasps> oh, it's Sheik! Long time no see. Kind of. Not really. Past, present, future. The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through Time's River. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through Time's Flow. Listen to this Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. Play the Requiem of Spirit. Oops. I see you, Owl. Owl! 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 I'm sorry. I talked during that whole thing saying Owl. You have learned the Requiem of Spirit. Sheik? Sir? Ah, oh, this again! Hey, he didn't throw anything to disappear that time. Well. Now that we have the Requiem of Spirit, we can warp here any time we want. But we're going to need to return here as a child to actually begin the dungeon. Hooray for playing another dungeon as Young Link. So I suppose I can do that. I kept my bugs, right? There is like another Skullzilla to get right outside the Spirit Temple. Do I have bugs? I'm a genius, I kept them. Oh, I'm so glad I don't have to go hunt bugs down. I've already got them still. All right, so it's once again time to head to the past. And just for fun, I'm gonna switch to the yellow tunic. I turned on the cheat code, but it doesn't take effect until like, an area reloads, I pause and resume. So it'll be kind of funny to see Young Link wearing something besides green. Yep, there it is. The yellow tunic on Young Link. Which isn't even a real tunic, it's a cheat code, mind you. But yeah, now that we're a kid again, we can go back to the Spirit Temple. I feel like I should have had Link wear yellow during the Requiem of Spirit cutscene, but oh well, I didn't bother with the Nocturne of Shadow either, with the black tunic. Or the Ice Cavern with the white one. I guess I'll play with the yellow tunic on, that's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. I don't know if I want to save with it on, though. I don't know if that's mess up my save file or what. Oh, just for fun. Let's demonstrate Nehru's love. Yeah, it makes a protective barrier. Take damage. We don't take damage. We're invincible. Yeah, it's pretty overpowered. Especially if we were to carry a green potion and be able to refill our magic any time. We could use this thing for practically ever. But anyway... Let's get our bugs out. 
And get another gold sculpture just for fun, I guess. I'm gonna end the episode really soon. I think we're over 20 minutes. Oh, I didn't get my bugs back. Crap. I don't know if I'll never need them again, though. I'll go get them off screen, that's what I'll do. You, you guys won't have to worry about it. But yeah, let's head into the spirit temple. As a child. What are they dropping, rupees? Let's get a magic refill. Oh good. Well folks, my name is Sporkinator, uh, thank you for watching. Feel free to dislike, unsubscribe, and leave an angry comment. I will read it and laugh. Goodbye. See you next time.